Hey, this is Leo. If you find this content valuable, you know what to do. So I want to update y'all on the market transparency kind of timeline. So the approval process works like this. You have a, it goes into the first comment period, which is where the amendments to form PF uh, currently is. Uh, so that ends today. Now, what happens after that is that it goes to uh, essentially they review it, they review the comments, see if there's any adjustments that they're going to make. If there are adjustments, it goes to comment period two, then it goes to uh, a final version and the SEC does a final vote on it. Now, they might not make any adjustments. It might just go straight to final version and then the SEC vote. So it could be going into effect here very soon. Now, just to give you all a refresher as to what this is, this is one of the filings that the hedge funds are scared of. So, <clears throat> excuse me. If we go to here to, where is it? So what this does is it's going to increase the amount of timeliness of information that is filed through form PF. Uh, that's really not too interesting. So here we are. So, uh, what this proposal will do is make it easier to gauge skepticism about a company and its propensity to be driven upward in a short squeeze. GameStop being the, the modern poster child of it, says this article. Now, the other article that we have here is actually a little bit more interesting. So, uh, hedge fund managers fear the painful losses they suffered in the meme stock trading frenzy of January 2021. Uh, will be repeated if U.S. regulators press ahead with reforms to securities lending, one of the most opaque practices in the financial market. If we scroll down here a little bit, it gets more interesting where it talks about Jennifer Hahn. If, uh, any of y'all that have been following me for a while, we've talked about her before. She's a member of uh, Managed Funds Association, which is kind of like a, it's an association for hedge funds, basically. Uh, but she says that, SEC's proposal was misguided and that it could create more meme stock style uh, volatility uh, lending to situations like, you know, GameStop and what stock and whatnot. Uh, she goes on to say that they're strongly concerned that other market participants would be able to reconstruct or reverse engineer a hedge funds trading strategy if the SEC insisted on highly detailed reporting of securities lending transactions even if this information was anonymized it goes on to say uh, the sec proposal would allow other traders to front run or short squeeze the hedge funds that would bet against the company's stock said uh jerry kroll hopefully i'm saying that right uh head of uh, government and regulatory affairs at ama so it's interesting you know this is going into effect here hopefully soon uh the the hope is that it doesn't go into a second comment period, which I believe would be another 30 days extension. Uh, hopefully this goes, you know, there, there's no amendments. Hopefully it goes straight to the final version. They vote on it and this thing is active. Now, as far as the dates go, you know, I can't really give you a set date. Okay, it's gonna happen tomorrow. It, what I suspect will happen is that once this goes through the, what we need to keep an eye on is the SEC vote. So once this is voted through and it's active, then what I think we need to keep an eye on is when the first report comes out, because I think that's going to be when you actually see an impact of this. Now it's possible that, you know, if this thing gets approved in anticipation of what it could cause in the market, as far as, you know, people retail being able to short squeeze, I would, imagine that these funds want to get ahead of other funds, meaning that some of them might start to close out early, which means that we could see a preemptive run, but I wouldn't necessarily expect anything to happen until the first report comes out, if that makes sense. So what, again, what I'm saying is that we could see preemptive closing, uh, in anticipation of the first report coming out, trying them trying to jump ship before the ship sinks type of thing. So we could see that, uh, but I'm not going to expect it until the first report comes out because that's what they're scared of. They're, they're scared of the report coming out, us being able to sort of reverse engineer what they're doing and then figure out how we can front run and short squeeze them. So again, first report. So no dates really. We're just, we're waiting on the vote at this point. Looking towards the 
chart for a bit of confluence, what's interesting is that this rule, this proposal that the hedge funds are so scared of is supposed to be hopefully going to be going active here just as these Bollinger Bands are getting tighter and tighter. So remember, for those of y'all that don't, when these Bollinger Bands get really tight, what you would expect is an increase in volatility. And you can see how accurately it predicted uh, the previous two run-ups, how the Bollinger Bands squeezed in, then you get that big move of volatility. Bollinger Bands squeezed in, big move of volatility. You know, Bollinger Bands squeezed in from this consolidation and then they moved down. So coming in here as they are squeezing in, and then let's say we get this proposal that goes through, it could be the catalyst, which causes this thing to go up. It's interesting that we're seeing the confluence of this proposal that they're actively saying that they're scared of and the Bollinger Bands closing in, which is a sign that a big move is coming. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on that, see what happens. Uh, hopefully the SEC comes out here soon and, and says uh, whether it's going to be put back in the comment period or whether they're going to vote on it. But uh, I'll keep you all updated on that. So until next time, I'll talk to you all soon.